Hello and welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the wonderful properties of cleavers. We're going to talk about the benefits of cleavers as well as the uh, uses and the different parts of the cleavers, what cleavers are known for, how you can get started using cleavers today to better your health and your wellness. Now, usually cleavers are very underestimated, their benefits, because they usually are seen growing around uh, in large quantities, like everywhere. And they usually are considered as a weed and just uh, destroyed like that. But they're actually a popular herb in folk medicine. And it's been used throughout the centuries because cleavers, or as they are called in their other name, goose grass, they're growing in large quantities and they uh, grow very fast and they produce long sticky stems. And the young shoots are what we need to concentrate on because these are rich in minerals and they are also considered as a great, excellent cleansing tonic for the whole body. And also they're used in mostly Central Europe and the Balkans. Now, cleavers in general, they are considered as a diuretic, sorry. So it's normal for them to cleanse the body. And uh, for some people, especially people with sensitive bowels, it might cause an excess um, uh going to the bathroom a lot with number one, it's quite normal. What they're doing is they're gently cleansing and detoxifying the body. So it's normal to have that with the um, with the bowels in that way. So they're also considered as a lymphatic cleanser and a mild estrogen. And they have tannins, they have citric acid, they have other components as well that make them uh, have the benefits that they do have and in the in terms of the taste they are dry they are a bit salty and they are also cooling to the body so th uh, the best parts of the cleavers or the, the parts of the cleavers that we're going to focus on using in terms of bettering our health and wellness is the uh, leaves and the stems the leaves and the stems are absolutely amazing and cleavers is the type of herb that is best used when it is fresh Fresh cleavers are potent as um, a diuretic, we said, and they're great for the lymphatic system because they serve as a general cleanser. So they're effective in so many different things um, from helping with reducing swelling of the lymph glands. And they're really good for the blood as well because they're rich in chlorophyll and they serve as a blood purifier. And they're also used for skin problems, especially conditions where the body is uh, helping itself to get rid of toxins trying to do the natural detoxify the doctor detoxify process cleavers are wonderful for that and they can also be cooked as a vegetable um they do taste quite salty so keep that in mind and if you are uh, having cleavers growing around your yard or in your area where it's away from pollution you've correctly identified it then it's best to harvest the cleavers in early spring or early autumn is the best way and just focus on the young shoots as well because they'll be rich in the compounds that we talked about. Now with cleavers, they they look very basic and they can be used for different things. So if you have fresh cleavers growing around you, then you can simply juice them. So you can uh, make a juice out of them and a juice would be great for the lymphatic system because it will be considered as a great cleanser. You can take it in little shots. It can also be used for helping with fever, prostate health, and tonsillitis. So these are the properties or the benefits of the cleavers juice. And you can also make a simple infusion, just like what we said in the last video about using strawberry leaves as an infusion to help get the minerals and get the benefits through that infusion or light tea as we call it. And you can also uh, make an infusion out of the cleavers, the fresh ones and, and the dried ones as well. If you don't have cleavers growing around you, there are dried dried cleavers that you can get from the health food shop make sure that they're organic and then you would also get um, make an infusion use it for urinary uh, problems and symptoms it would be great and it's also a cooling drink during the summer as well make sure you don't overdose so I wouldn't go over um, a cup a day when it comes to that so you can also use a tincture made out of cleavers and it's a very light tincture and it has the same benefits as the infusion does so basically it 
it, what it does is when you use the tincture it's going to be much more concentrated than any other way of using cleavers and it's going to really help detoxify the lymphatic system so if you're making your own tincture or you're focusing on purchasing a cleavers tincture i would focus on other herbs as well that help cleavers in uh, doing its job properly. So other detoxifying herbs such as uh, poke root or uh, herbs from the Chinese uh, herbal medicine that have proven their ability to help in the detoxifying of the lymphatic system. Another way you can use cleavers is as a compress. So they usually use cleavers as a compress when it comes to uh, skin inflammations, just general skin inflammations. You can soak a pad in the infusion of the cleavers and then you can use it that way. Uh, you would normally find a cleavers cream or a cream made out of cleavers infused oil in the herbal stores. And the cream is usually made um, used to help with eczema and psoriasis as well so any sort of skin inflammations cleavers cream is great for that and if you have cleavers growing around you you can easily make a cream from that of course it is going to be a process where you would need to make the infused oil dry the her herb first make the infused oil and then go from there by waiting about six months or so and adding the right uh, ingredients that you would need to make the cream. So let me know if you're interested in that so we can do a video on how to do your own herbal cream using dried herbs. Uh, another good thing that you can use cleavers for is as a hair rinse. So you can use the infusion and put it in a spray bottle, use it for dandruff, use it for skull problems, use it for maintaining the general health of the hair. That would be amazing. Now when it comes to the side effects, cleaver is a very gentle herb. So I wouldn't overdose it. There's not much noted side effects on cleavers, but I would be careful in making sure that I take the right dose of it 